I never thought I did anything to make anybody hate me. But I guess I'm wrong. I don't have any answers. I'm sorry. Don't try to throw your weight around with me, Lieutenant. I can only assume that Peter Parker had some very good reason for leaving when he did. All right. I'll keep you advised of any further developments. Well, I covered for you. I am not giving him the pictures. Turning over those prints could do somebody a lot of damage. Not turning them over can definitely do you a lot of damage. At least will have you in front of a judge in no time. And you know what'll happen? When I refuse to hand them over, I'll be held in contempt of court. That's right. And slammed in the slammer. Look, someone is trying to use me to frame another person in this coin robbery. Who? I can't tell you that. I mean, right now, you could honestly tell a judge that you have no information about this. But if I tell you, you'll either have to reveal what I say, or you could face contempt charges, too. Well, you're willing to risk a jail sentence. Well... Your joining me in jail isn't going to help. I don't have any choice. Not if I intend to back up something I believe very strongly in. That a newsman should be protected by the First Amendment. I stick to the old-fashioned idea that newspaper people are honor-bound to protect their sources. And they use their judgment in releasing any information they've gathered. I'll back you all the way. appreciate being called out of my court for the trial in session. Even without this interruption, my calendar is very tight. Please keep in mind I can give you five minutes at the most. Your Honor, Peter Parker is an honorable and honest man. Forcing him to go to jail is a mockery of justice and an attack upon the freedom of the press. It's ridiculous to treat a man as a criminal for doing a job that's vital to society. Your attorneys have already made those points, Mr. Jameson. I'm making them again, Your Honor, because I feel very strongly about them. You're wasting my time. Well, at least grant us a stay so that we can pursue other legal remedies. Mr. Parker is in contempt of court. He can remain free if he provides the material which has been subpoenaed. Failing that, he will accompany the bailiff for immediate processing and incarceration. This hearing is at an end. All right, let's get the ground rules set. Now, you're a newspaper man, so you really think that makes you important. It's never made me important before. I don't know why I wouldn't jail. Well, then here you're just the same as everybody else. You get out of line, you get the book thrown at you. Somehow I get the feeling that newsmen are not your favorite people in the world. Did you ever read a story about a nice prison guard? I don't remember. Maybe we could start a new trend. muscles where you should use brain. I don't see you using your brains to bend this thing. Yes, I did. I used my brains to get you to use your muscle. You know, one of these days, I'm going to bat your brains down into your belly. Oh, no threats, lad. It's sort of a team. We're on a win and run. You wouldn't want to spoil it. Right on time. Watch me handle him. Did an excellent job. It won't seem like you did. See nothing in the newspapers about your ex-missus being clapped in the dungeon for stealing them coins. That was a fault of that newspaper photographer. I'll handle that another way. Good. I'd hate to waste my star in performance. I'd like to talk about me alimony. Take that thing off, you fool. Somebody will see you. 
Keep your hair on, Dolly Boy. There's no one around here. I told you to get rid of that and the clothes. Did you know? Must have slipped me mind. Remember anything about that, Wiley? Nothing. And I never just remember nothing when money's involved. Blackmail. Well, it won't work. You guys are getting nailed, too. Call it insurance. Anything went wrong, the coppers might get a package with claws and hair. Now, me and Wiley, we'd be long gone. But you, now you got roots. You stay in one place, and you'd be right here to answer them penetrating questions the coppers love to ask. We had a deal. You welshing on it? Would I do that? I'm just waiting here quiet and peaceful till Wiley and me get our money. When I get it, you'll get it. Oh, that's nice. In the meantime, let me have the coins. Coins? They're mine. I want them. Oh, yeah, them, sure. You'll get them, absolutely. Right, Wiley? Berkey says something, I always believe him. You better, too. As soon as that money is in my hand, this hand, right here, where I can look at it, count it, and enjoy it. The deal was, you give me the coins when the robbery's completed. We decided to hold on to them. I need one coin to do the job that the photographer didn't do. You can keep the other four. Out of the goodness of me heart and because I'm a trusting man. Should I go get one? Not that trusting. You don't go near that stash while he's here to have a look-see. But we'll get him in your hot little hands, quick-like. Good. That visiting hours with the press interviewing prisoners manages to get special privileges. Nice of you to visit. Peter, it's awful. Well, like the guard told me, have you ever seen a nice jail? <laughs> no. It just seems a lot different when you're not involved. It's not the jail seeing you in it. Okay, so it's not the Waldorf. <laughs> well, I wouldn't visit you if this was the Waldorf. <laughs> After all, I only came here to research the psychology of hardened criminals like you. Well, actually, I'm still just kind of an apprentice criminal. I'm just learning the trade. I'll study and work hard. That's the way to success. So, did you just come here to encourage me in my life of crime? No. I came here to tell you that the coin robbery that got you in here may be close to solution, so you might get out fairly soon. Give. Okay. The lieutenant managed to squeeze some information out of Mr. Gray. And now there's a prime suspect, Bonita Gray. No, I know she didn't do it, but I do have to talk to her. Well, wouldn't that bring more suspicion on her? You're in here for not producing evidence. I mean, the police would think the evidence related to her. Did it? Never mind. But you've got a point about the police. I've got to find out... What? The angle at which a photograph was taken. Well, I can ask your boss to get the lawyers to make another attempt to get you out of here for long enough to see her. It's a slim chance. Try it, would you? Right now? Peter, really? Are you okay? I hate to see you in here. Yeah, well... <laughs> I'm not too crazy about it myself. Guard! I think you're a terrific guy. Don't put him on bread and water. We treat everybody the same. He's kind of a nice guy. In here, he's not a guy. He's a number. Show the lady out. shouldn't be seen in my office. Me mom lets me come and go in the big city all by myself. Simmer down. 
Nobody knows me. Don't go out of your way to irritate me. You don't have that gorilla friend with you now, and I might just decide to take you apart in order to get those other coins. You wouldn't want to do that, would you? Seeing as we got such a gentleman's agreement. Thank you.